Hey, it's June 28th, Greg Stewart here on this edition of Mazex Moving. We'll talk a little bit about nitrogen. Uh, lots of questions about nitrogen rates this year. There's a several different approaches that, that we take on trying to evaluate what the right nitrogen rate for your corn is. Uh, the calculator, the Ontario N calculator, we've been using for a number of years now. And, uh, and we usually, in years like this, like to pull some soil nitrate tests to sort of check whether the calculator is uh, on target or whether maybe we've had a year where the nitrate tests are steering us in a different direction. So if I pull a typical field, it's in the Tilsonburg area, sandy loam soil, I'm giving it a 205 bushel yield potential. It's uh, after soybeans. And uh, on that field, I'm 182 pounds total end recommendation. I take off the 30 that went down through the starter, I give it a, the, the side dress credit, and my side dress recommendation on that field is a 136 pounds of N per acre. We pull soil nitrate tests this year in June, mid-June, and those soil nitrate tests were relatively low. Yeah, that might not be too surprising to you. Relatively cool, relatively backwards, and so we got soil nitrate tests that are in the six or seven parts per million. You run that through the, uh, the PSNT recommendation tool, and we get side dress recommendations that bump up considerably, 185, 189 pounds of N per acre, contrasted to the straight up average calculator at 136. So some uh, warrant maybe to bump the N rates uh, as you've moved through this June. Then the other interesting thing about N recommendations is Nicolas Tremblay, Ag Canada, his colleagues out of Quebec have put together a, another N recommendation tool. They call it SCAN. It's being run by a company called Effigis. They've worked with me and I've thrown some of the data at them. They use expected yield, uh, soil texture, price of corn, price of nitrogen. But the intriguing thing about this Quebec model is that they use rainfall previous rainfall, expected rainfall, they put that into the model and give a recommendation. So I asked them to run just based on the rainfall that this area had, their number was 140 pounds per acre side dress, essentially right on with the calculator and didn't go up uh, like the soil nitrate test recommendation. Then I asked them to, well, let's bump the rainfall, let's pretend that it actually rained three inches in the last week instead of an inch, and it added a, just about a 10 pounds of extra N to the side dress. So an interesting approach to look at it, a calculator at 136, a different recommendation tool coming out of Quebec at maybe 140, 150, and then a soil nitrate test recommendation that bumps us up to that 185. I uh, think there is some uh, justification in pushing nitrogen rates up uh, in, in this year. More particularly since it's June 28th, if your nitrogen is already down and you're out of uh, an opportunity to side dress it with a tractor drawn side dress equipment, is there any uh, need to go back in and top up with another 30, 40, 50 pounds of nitrogen? In areas that have received, you know, big rain in the last uh, week or so, particular areas that are heavier soils where the soil has sat in a saturated condition for a week, and then I think there is some significant end loss potential there. And those fields should be considered as targets for some additional end that has to be side dressed, high clearance side dressers, over the top urea. But something that might get added, I think in most cases 30 to 50 pounds does the job over top of what you've got down. On loam soils that haven't sat in a saturated condition or where the water has been heavy but has ran off and not sat, I'm not so sure there's a, there's a justification to going out and topping up uh, additional N unless you start to see some, some N deficiency in the next week or so. At any rate, if you'd like to play with some of these uh, uh, soil nitrate recommendation tools, uh, you can go to mazex.com. There's a little uh, Mazex N tracker there you could look at. And I hope uh, your July goes really well. Uh, happy Canada Day. Thanks.